you care to sit down to some Gwent with us? Most certainly would. You needn't ask twice, Midget. Nor need for insults. It's no insult. It's the truth. He's a midget. Like I said, that's an insult. Would you call your chum a giant? Shut up. You play in or not? Let us play, gentlefolk. What's your wager? Everything. The whole lot. I'm all in. <laughs> I never knew you to be such a gambler. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. Many large sides. Normally we play that the losers got to wear the ass ears. I needn't care. I shan't lose.
Your tits up, mate. Slap those asses' ears on your asses' noggin. Oh, such a shame. I'd already pictured you in those ears. Quite the interesting picture, too. I know of other ways to look interesting. I could show you. <sighs> I'll think about it. Time to drink! We are at a wedding! Aye, let's drink. My time's as short as you are, friends. To the Witcher and his betrothed. Hear that, Shani? My betrothed. Know what that means? No. What? It means we should act as befits the betrothed. And what's that mean? I woo you, you resist. But it all ends as everyone knows it must. Ah, the merriment. Good show indeed. Let's continue the ball. Mark this Gwent. Onward. Next diversion. I'll leave you for a moment. As a bridesmaid, I need to be by the bride for the captain. Go on, Shani. I'll manage fine alone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this night I've tasted of life's delights so fiercely, I've decided to make a speech. G Geralt, there's no need. So be it. If there's no demand, I shan't supply. But it would have been a beautiful speech. It's almost midnight. Time for the capping. You're a bridesmaid, Shani. Take your place. Midnight chime has struck. The capping times have come. What thoughts in young hearts prance? What dreams make young blood run? Be they nice, be they vice, of jestily or lordly stance, out they'll come in this hour's dance. Toast the lovely couple and give them a few weeks, and we'll toast the lovely bed with its pale and puffy cheeks. Don't you mind a song? We don't sing to be unkind. We sing so we can empty yet another sign. Bright's one love eternal, bright you best beware, or she'll make you a core gold in the coming year. What's the groom a thing in a storm upon his brow? Must be second guessing if you get that cow. You'll get the cow, <laughs> lad, the bull, the, the calf, calf, the hay. So drink and be merry. <laughs> Tis your <laughs> wedding day. English of horns. Whoever caught the garland shall be next to wed. Necessary. It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused at Old Geard's wedding. I couldn't resist. Had to pen a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. Thanks. You're a good chap, Witcher. Not as dirt, but good. A lovely custom. Blushing maids twirling in dance, their hair swirling freely, their bodices undone, their bouncing. Will you stop? Did you see it? Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. I can't. I'm not finished here. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see, she asks after me. Misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. That kiss as we danced made my head so light 
A team of hellish stallions could not tear me away before I receive one more, or two more, or as many as you'll give. <laughs> you seem to have enjoyed yourself. I'm glad. A kiss. I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. No, it's just an end. It's after midnight. Your time has come. Ah, we needn't fret such trifles. Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? <laughs> What's Geralt think about that? You gave your word. Shani, darling, I'm dead. Can't expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everick, go back whence you came. Please. Stay out of this. Stop! I beg you! Stop! Get ye hence, or I'll take you with me, and your moldy crypt will look like paradise in comparison. The choice is yours. Don't torture him. I promise he'll not die. <laughs> Gods, what is this? Didn't have to make him suffer. Of course I needn't have. But I could. I hope you didn't hurt him. I disposed of a pest. There was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer. Geralt had finished his task, you see, so... Yes, I know. As soon as he finishes one task, he needs to rush off to the next. Who knows? Perhaps this time will be different. I saw you looking at each other, and it just so happens I also know the history you share. You do? How? Shani, darling, would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? Regardless, what matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. Should get back to Old Geard soon. And like that, it's over. Huh. Here, I thought I might get some more time with you. Silly, wasn't it? Wouldn't say that. Never mind. I should find Aldona. I am her bridesmaid, after all. Ah, there it is. The face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. You understand her? Of course. Women are simple. The problem is that men are hopeless fools. Your friend will now make a show of being hurt. Pick her some flowers, or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. Rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. Surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. You needn't end like Aldona and Jonas. Besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. Seize the night. Seize your chance. Enjoy one another. That's it. Have fun. Yeah. <laughs>